I don't know if you guys have played around with generative AI at all, but it's getting creepy good. There's a lot of like awesome tools out there that can help you generate content and add different like creations for your videos and stuff. I know a lot of people are like worried about AI and thinking it's gonna take over, or it's going to rule the world and take all of our jobs. But I don't think that's the case. I think AI is a tool. It's a method through which we can kind of enhance or augment our own creativity. So I wanted to show you something really cool that I kind of stumbled across when I was playing with the actual AI features in Artlist. So let's just jump over to artlist.io for a second because I want to show you something really cool. By the way, Artlist is not sponsoring this video. Artlist does not sponsor me at all. I wouldn't mind it if they did. But this is just a video about this stuff because I think it's really cool. I'm a big fan of Artlist. I use it all the time for a lot of different things, but I just want to show you some of the cool things that you can do in here. So over here on the Artlist website, you're just going to go over to AI image and video. We're going to click on that. And I know that other creators have talked about this, but here in Artlist AI image and video, you have the ability to just use text to create images, which I can show you a couple examples. So over here in my creations, you can see some of the things that I've created so far. I'm just going to kind of go way back in time because some of this might look familiar. So I was kind of playing around at the beginning when it first came out and I had it kind of create a gorilla. I had to create a car. I had it create some kind of like different air balloons and stuff. But this guy right here, you might recognize because he was in another video that I did talking about removing a background. So this was actually generated with Artlist. And I think this was the actual video that I used of him kind of walking through the city. I've kind of generated a bunch of stuff and all of these were generated via text. So I basically just told Artlist what it was I was looking for and it generated it for me. This troll right here, you might recognize he's from another video, of course. That's this guy right here. And I think I did a few different versions of him like that. I was also kind of just playing around with AI here to see if I could get the person kicking the soccer ball. So when I was talking about the lockdown effect, I was trying to generate an actual video of somebody kicking a soccer ball to try to get a better version of what I wanted. It had a lot of trouble with the ball because you can watch like it definitely like spins and does weird things with the ball. So I think AI has a little bit lacking in that respect, like being able to actually handle real like real life dynamics and motion that kind of stuff but it's definitely getting better at that for sure these are just some examples of things that i've generated via text now you can see i've got like benjamin franklin in here and actually now that i'm mentioning that i also created another channel it's called it's sean foster and by the way if you don't know my name my name is sean foster the name of this channel is emberden so it's probably a little bit confusing for people sometimes emberden is actually the name of my company emberden llc but the word emberden is actually a combination of two words ember and dynamic and it's kind of a bringing of those two words together ember being a spark and dynamic being change so it's like spark change it's ultimately the goal of this channel basically to be able to kind of spark change in people and spark their creativity and get them to start creating things and building cool things. A little digression there, but I've had this channel since November 1st of 2024, and I don't know that I've ever actually said my name in any of the videos. So... There you go. My name is Sean Foster. But anyway, I have another channel called It's Sean Foster, and that channel is going to be all about growing a YouTube channel. So if you want to check that channel out, go over here. I've got a link in the description for that. It's also down in the featured channels section of this channel. If you scroll down on my channel, you can see that other channel, as well as a lot of the other Final Cut Pro editors and creators out there as well. But anyway, these are a lot of the images that I've created with text. I've just basically told it what I want and then AI generates these things. But you can also take your still image that you've created here and you can convert that image to video. So if you choose a video, you can decide whether it's gonna be five seconds or 10 seconds, and you can change whether it's gonna be a resolution of 720 or 1080p. Now I've got a lot of examples of things that I've done that with in here. Like this was Benjamin Franklin and the original actual still image was this that I had it create for me. And then I told it to actually like animate it and make it a video and it did. This was all AI generated. This is not something that was recorded with a video camera or anything like that, obviously, since Ben Franklin is not alive anymore. But these were all kind of AI generated things. One of the cool things here now, they recently added that you can actually upload your own images. So instead of having AI generate the image for you, you can also upload your own image and then use AI to actually animate the existing still image that you had. This feature's been out for a while and I know that people have been playing around with this and using this, but I don't necessarily see a lot of people 
uploading their own image, but then actually asking AI to generate other things around their existing image. And I didn't really realize this was possible until I kind of just experimented and made it happen. So I want to show you an example of using generative AI with your own image that you are uploading. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click on upload. And I'm just going to find an image that I already know that I want to use. I'm going to call it test image. It's just a kind of an image of me with my hand up and I'm waving. It's a still image, so it's not a moving image. I want that to be kind of ingrained in your head. There's just a still image, an image that I took a picture of, and that's it. Now, I'm going to give the Artlist AI a prompt here. The prompt I'm going to give it is this. I want the subject in this image to be waving to the camera as if he's saying hello to someone, and then I want a photorealistic snake to crawl out from behind his back up from the chair and slither across his shoulders. I want his facial expression to change from happy to concerned as the snake slithers along his shoulders. This is the prompt that I'm going to give Artlist AI. I'm also going to change the duration from 5 seconds to 10 seconds, and I'm going to set the resolution to 1080p because I'm ultimately going to export this so that you can see it in the end. But the cool thing that I found out here is that you can take your existing still image and you can have Artlist's AI actually generate content within that image and add to it as well. So using this kind of generative AI, we can enhance and augment the images that we already have. So all you have to do now that you've given it a prompt is you need to click the animate button. So whenever Artlist actually goes through and starts to generate your video, it's going to show you this right here. It'll say generating video and it takes a few minutes. So far what I'm seeing is this can take anywhere between like 5 and 20 minutes depending on the complexity of what you're generating. Honestly, most of the time it's pretty quick. It's usually around 5 minutes for me. And by the way, while this is generating here, I want you to actually pay attention to this alien dude right over here because he is going to be featured in an upcoming video. Okay, so this is the finished result here, and I want you to watch this, okay? First of all, it's not perfect, of course, right? There's going to be things that are wrong with it, like the snake kind of morphs and does some weird things. Sure. It's not perfect. AI is not going to be perfect yet. We're not there yet. But I want you to notice some crazy things here. So first of all, it added teeth to this, right? When he starts to smile, it added teeth. Look at like the jiggling of the hand. It's kind of like actually really moving, like actual like flesh would move. Okay, there's like weight to all of the things here, right? It's not actually glitching at all. It's actually kind of moving. And if you look at like the skin and the way that the skin is moving and stuff, it's moving with the structures of the actual like muscles in the face and all that and the wrinkles and everything. It's a little bit creepy how good it actually is. And also just notice like as I kind of move around here, the chair is moving too. AI is smart enough to realize that this chair needs to move a little bit. It actually added this little pillow behind me too. See that pillow? It's kind of like shiny. The real pillow on this chair looks nothing like that, right? So AI added that in. Crazy. Amazing. But the thing that blew me away with this is this generative AI here. This snake that got added in here. It's around my neck. It's actually kind of casting shadows. It's the light is bouncing off of it from the right direction from the window over here. It's kind of amazing how actually good this really is. It's a little bit creepy, kind of the facial expressions that this thing is giving me. It's weird. It's weird, creepy, good. And I kind of love it. I just absolutely love how good this is at actually adding generative AI into this scene. Remember that this was a completely still image. AI has like added teeth, added smiles. It's making me smile. I'm wind my my eyebrows are changing. It's crazy how good this is. Now, if you look in here, there is kind of the typical AI weirdness going on, right? Like the snake kind of slithers down here, but his tail kind of morphs and does weird things. So, like I said, it's not perfect, but it is pretty good. It is pretty good. It's actually creepy how good this is. So let's just take a look really quick, full screen, at what the final video here looks like. Now, I don't know about you, but I was kind of blown away by this. The fact that you can upload your own image, incorporate other elements into the scene through generative AI, is astounding. Granted, it's not perfect, right? But it's getting really, really 
good. Now, the final thing I'm going to say about this is I don't think we need to fear AI. I think that using these different elements and being able to generatively add stuff to our scenes is only going to enhance our creativity. It's no different than way back when like Jurassic Park came out, right? We obviously didn't have real dinosaurs, so we had to use computers to add them in. The same is true here. It is making the ability for us to be even more creative possible. So we have to stop looking at AI as if it's going to take our jobs and take over everything. That's not the case. What we have to do is we have to start adapting. We have to start looking at AI as if we're the conductor and it's the musician now. We have to be able to kind of mold and tell the story that we want to tell. So I don't think that AI is going to be a bad thing in the world of video editing and video creation and filmmaking and things like that. I think that AI is just going to be another super useful tool to augment everything that we're doing and all of the creativity we're trying to spread and share with everybody else. So that's all that I have to say about that. I think that this is a really cool step in the right direction. Artlist is doing really impressive things with their AI, so you should definitely check out artlist.io. Dive in, start creating really cool things. I would love to see what you're creating down in the comments below, so share with us, tell us all about what you've created with AI. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get notifications anytime I create a new video. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna like that one.